Welcome to the Pets of Plenty channel. Making a selection between the Jack Russell and the Parson Russell can be pretty challenging, as both breeds are outstanding in their unique ways. We understand this challenge, so don't worry because, as usual, we've got you covered here on Pets of Plenty. Today on the channel, we've gathered all the helpful information about these breeds to help you make the ultimate choice on the dog which gets that particular spot in your home with a nine round battle that covers everything from their history to their health. Before we continue though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets of Plenty membership after clicking the join button. All right, here we go. Jack Russell versus Parson Russell. Let's start the fight. Round one, history. The Jack Russell Terrier is named after the Reverend John Russell, who in England created one of the best lines of terriers for hunting foxes. The breed was developed by breeders for work. It all started with Trump, a milkman's female dog. John Russell met her while studying theology at Oxford, and she laid the groundwork for the breed that would make him famous. The Jack Russell is a baying terrier, meaning the dog would keep barking to get the fox's attention but never kill it. Since it's start in the early 1800s, the Jack Russell has only been bred to hunt. Because Jack Russell Terriers have a wide range of genes, there are differences in how they should look. The Parsons and the Jack Russell Terrier were considered the same breed for a long time. Only after the Jack Russell Terrier was taken out of the AKC on purpose did the two standards become separate. It is never pleasant to split up a family and separate these dogs into different breeds. Confusing. In England, the dogs with longer legs are called Parson Jack Russell Terriers and the dogs with shorter legs are just called Jack Russell Terriers. This is because people had different ideas about how long the dog's legs should be. The American Kennel Club does not recognize the modern Jack Russell Terrier like it does the Parson Russell Terrier. The Jack Russell Terrier Club of America chose this because they feared that letting the breed join the AKC would change the breed's standard away from its hard-working roots. Because they've continued to be such beautiful animals, each of them deserves one point on the scoreboard for this round. So, one point for the Jack Terrier and one for the Parson Terrier. Round 2 – Appearance the easiest way to tell a Jack Russell from a Parson Russell is through their sizes. Jack Russells range in size from 10 to 15 inches tall and 11 to 17 pounds in weight. They also have shorter legs than Parson Russells. Depending on the dog's gender, a Parson Russell weighs between 13 and 17 pounds. When fully grown, a female Parson Russell weighs 15 pounds, while a male Parson Russell weighs 17 pounds. Their legs are almost as long as their bodies, and the shape is another difference. Parsons Russell has rectangular bodies, their muzzles are solid and square, and their heads are more prominent and stand out more. The edges of the eyes of a Parson Russell are dark. They also have V-shaped ears, just like Jack Russell's. On the other hand, Jack Russell's have small, well-balanced, and square-shaped bodies. Their heads are smaller than those of Parson Russell's, and their bodies are the right size for them. Their skull is flat, narrowed at the eyes, and terminated at the nostrils. There are three kinds of coats on Jack Russell Terriers. Smooth, rough, and broken. They are all white and their patterns are either tan or black. Jack Russells don't have as many different colors as Parson Russells. You can only get them in two colors, white with black spots or white with tan spots. However, there are two kinds of coats on Parson, broken and smooth. The broken type is longer than the smooth type, but both are thick and flat. Parson Russells are white with spots of black or tan. They might also be all white with brown and black markings on their coats. The length of their legs is the most noticeable distinction between these two breeds. So, in terms of looks, they're pretty much even. Again, they deserve a point each. Two points for Jackie and two for Parson. Round 3 – Temperament Jackies are popular for their fiery and devoted disposition. They like being active and adventurous and come bursting with energy. In fact, they're the most active terriers available and demand a lot of activity to keep them happy. The clever Parson Russell is dedicated to its owner yet enjoys being an independent dog. They might be obstinate sometimes, but they make excellent watchdogs when adequately trained. Jackies are high-energy canines that enjoy running about. They need space outside to 
roam around and exhaust all of their energy. Parson Russells are active as well, although not as much as Jackie's. Because they frequently seek to take down larger animals, Jack Russell Terriers are at a high risk of being attacked by larger dogs. Parson Russells, unlike Jack Russells, are not so territorial. That's why they get along nicely with youngsters and strangers. However, they will not tolerate rough handling. These dogs have strong personalities as well. As a result, they must know who their master is, or else Parson Russell will fill the void on his own. Compared to the Parson Russell, the Jack Russell barks a lot more. Jack Russells are born with an inherent territorial and protective nature. As a result of their defensive attitude to award their owners in territory, they bark a lot. They bark at other dogs, humans, squirrels, doorbells, and a variety of other things. There are several additional typical reasons why Jack Russell barks. They yap when bored, seek attention, or are excited or afraid. They bark for many reasons. Proper socialization will keep the yapping at a minimum. Parson Russells are not as vocal as Jack Russells. When they sense humans approaching their surroundings, they bark loudly to warn them. Intruders or other dogs do not make these dogs feel intimidated. They're happy to have similar type dogs hang around them. The Parson Russells have a kinder, more amiable temperament. Since they're more protective, Jack Russells make excellent guard dogs. So, they get one point each for different personality traits that reflect their love. Leads us to three points for Jackie and one for the Parson Terrier. Round 4. Grooming both dogs' coats require weekly brushing to eliminate dead and loose hairs. If you brush your terrier regularly, he should rarely need a bath. Once or twice a month, trim nails. They're too long if you can hear them clicking on the floor. Short, well-trimmed nails preserve the feet in good shape and prevent scratches on your shins when your dog rushes up to welcome you. His only other grooming requirement is dental hygiene. Brushing his teeth twice a week will help to prevent tartar accumulation and periodontal disease and twice a day for optimal results. Results. Begin combing and inspecting your pooch as a puppy to get him accustomed to it. Handle his paws regularly. Dog's feet are sensitive and examine his lips and ears. Make grooming time a happy experience full of praise and prizes. That way, you'll set the stage for smooth veterinarian tests and another handling when he's an adult. Both breeds groom well, so they get a point each for this round. We tie again at four points for the Jack Terrier and four for the Parson Terrier. Round 5. Socialization Regarding socializing a Jackie, no significant distinctions or suggestions must be made compared to a Parson Russell Terrier. Both dogs require socialization from the moment they arrive at their new home. Jackie and the Parson must get diverse types of socialization, such as being around children, adults, and other dog breeds. It is also critical that both dogs receive different types of socialization, such as frequent walks or visits to a local dog park. All of this is aimed at helping them and ourselves, by the way, become happy, well-adjusted companions. Remember, regardless of the dog you choose to adopt, get started with socialization and training right away. There we go again with a tie. Five for the Jackie and five for the Parson. Round 6. Training the trainability and discipline of a Parson Russell or a Jack Russell are pretty much the same. Both dogs are intelligent, but they require persistence and a good reward for training to be effective. This involves everything from potty training to learning basic instructions and, in the future, learning to hunt. Start training as soon as you get home and be consistent with having success training any one of them. One point each again. Everyone six for Jackie and six for the Parson. Round 7. Exercise both dogs have a lot of physical energy and need at least an hour or more of exercise daily. If you think a Jack Russell Terrier would be comfortable lying around the home all day, you're mistaken. An escape-proof fence is required. Keep an eye on your yard since these dogs enjoy digging. 7 points for the Jack Terrier and 7 for the Parson Terrier. Round 8. Diet and Nutrition Size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level all play a role in determining how much food your adult dog needs to eat. Individual dogs, like humans, have varying dietary needs. The recommended daily quantity for both dogs is one and a quarter to one and three quarter cups of high quality dog food split into two meals. The higher quality dog food you choose, the less of it you'll need to shake into your dog's dish daily and the more nutrients it'll provide. Instead of leaving your dog's 
fast food out all the time, you should feed him twice a day using a measured amount. Also, make sure he has a constant supply of clean drinking water. It's fair to give one point each to both dogs for their diet, so we're now at eight points each. Round 9. Health the Jackies and Parsons have very similar health issues. While the Parson Russell has a longer lifespan, both terrier breeds face the same typical health issues in most cases. Patellar luxation, visual problems, and the likelihood of becoming deaf later in life are possible health challenges these breeds can face. Again, each Jack Russell and Parson Russell Terrier's health will vary depending on their environment, hygiene, diet, and amount of exercise their owners provide. But these two dogs are almost the same when it comes to known illnesses and health problems. We've come to the end of today's contest and it's a tie everyone! With 9 points each, both dogs win! We'd love to conclude by saying every human has a choice. It's vital to consider your personal needs and environment during adoption. Both dog breeds can work excellently as a pet or companions. This is our evaluation. Remember, yours may be different. In addition, before adopting a dog, do well to seek professional advice from the breeder and your veterinarian. What are your thoughts on today's contest? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.